Good morning. Happy Sunday, y'all. I don't know why I always wake up and start the vlog. Like, literally, right, right, <laughs> literally, right when I roll out of bed. And, um, and it, let me just get my coffee and then I'll be back. And then you'll be like, oh my god, so glad I watched this YouTuber because right now you're probably like, trying to click off. <laughs> so, here we go. Okay, guys, so let's get this day started with a workout. Ugh. Okay, I had my coffee and I'm low-key still like exhausted, but... Okay, I uh, had my coffee and I'm starting to like come back to life, but let's get this day started with a workout. I've been pretty good about doing workouts every single day. As you know, I'm like making my garage in and it's been a vibe. Like something about working out like with the outside feel feels like more... I don't know if the word's like grungy or like... I don't know, it just feels more intense. So I'm gonna start the day with that. Okay, so this is how everything is coming together in the gym. We have our squat rack here and things are coming along. Well, except Loki, what happened this week is we realized that when we work out in here, we open this just a little bit and then we have these speakers that we blast music. But we did like a sound test and we walked to the outside of the house and we're like, how loud is our music, like what must our neighbors be thinking right now? We were blasting the music, we had no idea. Meanwhile, I'm over here playing like WAP. These parents are probably just like hiding their six year olds from us, but um, now we know the appropriate level. All right, I'm gonna get my workout, bye. Okay, I'm gonna do my 12, 3.30, 12 incline, three speed, 30 minutes. Goodbye. Honestly, the only workout that I've really been doing these days has been 12, 3.30. I know that I have this like whole gym around me and stuff, but I don't know why, I just always gravitate towards doing the treadmill routine the most. I just did 12 through 30 in 100 degree weather. But low key, like the amount of sweat that comes out of me, I'm like, I feel like I'm getting a better workout. So yeah, I'm gonna make myself a healthy breakfast. It's some soccer game right now, like PSG something, I don't know, Neymar something, I don't know. This is what happens when you date a Brazilian. I feel like every other day there's some soccer game. But I'm gonna make us a healthy breakfast. I could show you how I make my Avocado toast. Avocado toast, guys, don't sleep on it. Like, it's the easiest, like, healthy meal you can make at home. And it's super quick, and there's ways that you can make it really, really delicious. Like, every time I go to a restaurant and they sell, like, $11, $12 avocado toast and I have it, I'm like, I just threw money out the window because the one that I make is so fire. So, I'll show you how I do that. <sighs> I'm so dead. But I feel great. Stop the vlog, stop the vlog. Guys, we're going down a trip down memory lane real quick because we've gone through a lot together. And I got to a milestone recently, we'll talk about that later, but let's review what you guys have been a part of really quickly. So we've been on a long journey. This was one of my first apartments in Hollywood. And oh gosh, I feel like I brought you along on so much of my life. This is just so crazy to watch back. But this was like, two years ago and we traveled together. This was in the Dominican Republic. This trip was pretty cool. We went to Coachella together and oh, I low-key wish Coachella happened this year, but whatever, not salty about it at all. I'm fine. It's not that big of a deal. This was our one year anniversary and we celebrated by going to Disneyland together. Do you guys remember this video? This was so much fun and we met a couple and they were subscribers and the guy told us that he was proposing to his girlfriend. Long story short, he ended up proposing. She said yes and we're invited to the wedding. Should I vlog the wedding? <gasps> um, I got married too. Just kidding, I went wedding dress shopping and filmed it for this channel, but it was fun and this trip was so cool. We went to Anguilla. I loved vlogging this. This was one of the trips that I think I got like two or three videos out of and I just loved vlogging it. Paris too. Jessica Alba, my girl. 
And this second apartment, I feel like is where I started low-key getting my interior design life together. Things started getting cuter. Do you guys remember the 5 a.m. morning routine? Uh, RIP to the days that I used to do that because I definitely do not do that now. Neither do I go this hard at the gym. Am I just, am I giving up on myself? I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, um, something happened last night. So we gotta talk about it. I did the whole corny thing. I swear I used to think this was like the corniest thing to do, but then I hit a million and I'm like, wait, was I jealous the whole time? Because it's fun. I went to Party City this morning and I got my um, one million balloons. But guys, last night the channel hit a million subscribers. I'm like, what? Like obviously I knew this was coming because I saw the numbers inching up, but I think when it actually happened, I was like, whoa. It actually happened. So anyway, surprise, get ready with me. I'm gonna do very light, simple glam so that I can take my picture with my balloons and my confetti because I'm doing the damn thing. And yeah, it's such a corny thing to do when YouTubers do that with their million milestones. But I swear when I had a mil, I was like, you know what, maybe it's not corny. Let's do it, I love it. Just so that I didn't uh, show uh, my skin today, I already put on my Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. I love this, I'll link it down below. It's just like one of my favorite products right now, basically. I'm gonna go in with my Chanel bronzer. I think I'm never gonna use another bronzer. This one is so good, it's just creamy. Um, so hitting a million, it definitely feels, I, I feel like it feels like I just got accepted into some club, like I got accepted into the million plus club, you know what I mean? I feel like hitting the arbitrary like a million thing it just feels cool because like especially watching the videos back from the beginning like i realized how much hard work went into this and how many memories were made here and it's definitely been something that i've been working super hard towards for a long time so hitting that like arbitrary one million mark is kind of like a nice little validation like oh you did it girl like you know you've been looking forward to this day and that's why when it happened i kind of didn't really even know how to feel i was like what would happen like what now now we're aiming for two million like let's not get it twisted but you know what i mean i really wish there was an app where you can edit falsies on your face maybe that's my thing maybe i'm just gonna like do a startup app and that's gonna be how i just like make millions of dollars but if that exists, can you actually let me know? Because if there was an app that realistically edited on falsies onto me, I would like never put them on for quick pictures like this. But then when I do these like quick pictures, like the lashes alone take me like 25 minutes to put on. So can somebody invent that or let me know if that exists? If that existed, I would literally probably just like never do my makeup. But these are really great lashes. A lot of people have been asking me like what they are recently. I know they're toddy lashes, but I don't know the kind, so I'll link it down below. So I went to dinner recently and I had a conversation conversation and this person was like so what do you do for a living and I quickly said oh YouTube and they were like oh you do that as a hobby or as a full-time job and I was like as a full-time job and they were like wow that's so cool and for some reason that conversation like stood out to me and I was like whoa I had kind of this like aha moment of appreciation and I was like that is so cool you know like I feel like when I was living in LA I didn't really appreciate stuff like that because like, I feel like everybody there does it full time and it's kind of like just whatever run of the mill type stuff. But having that person look at me and be like, wow, that's so cool. Kind of just like brought me back to reality for a second. I was like, that is so cool. Like, yeah, like all these crazy things have happened this year. Like I got a house and you know, like all these really awesome things are happening in my life. But I think the thing that I'm really most appreciative of is that I can do what I love as like a full time thing. And this channel, like making videos and all of this it's just possible because of you guys and I really just want to thank you in this video for that because you caring about all of this you know low-key is what keeps me going and without your interest like I really you know maybe you would not be doing this full time so I had that kind of moment of appreciation recently and I was like damn this is dope guys I got my eyelashes lifted recently at this place called raw beauty lounge in uh, old town Scottsdale so shout out to them and low-key the biggest difference that I noticed with having a lash lift is that it makes it so much easier to put the falsies on because you don't have to like curl them and then mascara them and then put the falsies you can just kind of like sit the falsies on top and not have to do that step um, I feel like I thought I was gonna go into it and be like oh my god lash lift I never need falsies but I'm just such a dramatic person and I love the drama with the makeup that you know 
I'm like, oh great, this is gonna make putting my fake eyelashes on easier, but still happy that I did it. I'm gonna use this Morphe 2 uh, liquid blush. This is so fire. I can't believe how good the consistency is on these things. If you haven't tried it yet, it's literally like a mousse and it's incredible and I use it like almost every single day. Especially watching the old YouTube videos back, I'm like, damn, it's so much literal hard work went into this channel like I don't know how people that don't do YouTube perceive it because I don't know because like I can't even put myself in that position because I've been doing it for so long but I always wonder like I wonder if the audience like thinks it's super easy or if they understand like how hard it is but especially watching those videos back I get like flashbacks of like nights where Henny and I have been up all night or he's been up all night working on stuff and like this channel is literally like our baby and like so much hard work and hours go into it. This is probably like the laziest makeup I've ever done. If we could even call it makeup, but I feel like if you have lashes in a photo, like that's basically all you need and it's far away and you're like, ah, and it's not like, is your contour on? You know, so screw it. Guys, what's a good, I hit a million subscribers and I'm taking an Instagram picture outfit. Like, should I match the balloons? Is that tacky? Or should I go casual? Like, oh my god, I just casually hit a million? Or should I go over the top? Oh my god, why am I going to be thinking of this? Oh god, let's see what I muster up in my closet. Okay, first outfit option that I picked out of the closet, and I feel like this is low-key it. It's just like a cute little moment, right? Honestly, I'm trying to think of where I got this dress, and I can't remember for the life of me. Yeah, I really don't recognize where this is from, but if I ever remember... I'll put it down below, but let's take this blink. Well guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. Loki, I forgot to film an ending to this video, so now, uh, hey, mm -hmm. um, I'm outside of the hair salon right now. I'm gonna change my hair completely. I'm done with the blonde, but that is the next video. So I'll see you at some point this week for that. But thanks for watching this video. Thank you for just caring about my life in general, and I will see you soon. I love you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.